morning everybody it's a nice beautiful Saturday morning the sun's out of course I got trees everywhere so got nice shade uh, I'm gonna do a video this morning because I don't do no scrapping on Saturday but I got an air conditioner here I need to cut up but before we get started I wanted to show you if you've seen my past videos on the uh, all the aluminum I picked up a couple days ago. I forget what day that was. Man, my memory shot. But uh, picked up a uh, bunch of aluminum from the school. And I don't know if anybody was curious about the final payouts on, let's see, I picked up two loads of aluminum. And, hang on a second. Yeah, two loads of aluminum. I loaded the truck twice and brought it home. And a lot of it was clean, but a lot of it was dirty, so I had to clean it up. So, these are the tickets that is just the aluminum that I picked up from the school. The first load I got, the day I took this in the day of, after I brought it all home, I kind of sorted through it as I was unloading the truck. And this was all the clean sheet that I got, you know, with the first couple loads. The first two loads. The only two loads. Uh, that was 300 pounds of clean sheet aluminum, which pays 47 cents a pound, which was $141. So that was a nice load right off the bat. Uh, the second load I did was actually the extrusion, which I had to clean the extrusion. There's big long beams that I had strapped on the top of my truck. Uh, I had to take all the little screws out, but that was 123 pounds of a clean extrusion at 70 cents a pound. I don't know why I thought I was thinking it was 67 cents, but 70 cents a pound. I paid 86.10. You'll see it's 86.25 because like I say, they round to the nearest quarter, which to me that's not the nearest quarter, but they always round up. It works for me. And then the final load, I took in the aluminum that I had to clean that had screws and stuff in it. I took the rest of the aluminum in that clean sheet aluminum after I got it cleaned up. It was 80 pounds, 47 cents. It was 37.60. And on this same ticket, I took the cast aluminum in, which was all the light fixtures. You know, they had little bulb sockets and a transformer and a capacitor in it and I took all those in after I got them cleaned up the aluminum light fixtures which was 56 pounds at 40 cents a pound was 2240 now here it's saying electric motors at 19 pounds that was actually all the transformers they pay them as electric motors and that's 15 cents a pound 19 pounds two dollars and 85 cents for a total of 63 dollars so those three tickets added up is two hundred ninety dollars and twenty five cents that was off of two loads of aluminum I probably got about I don't know let's say two hours cleaning it up uh, probably another three hours to go pick it up because I had to cut the beams in half with the sawzall but you know it's aluminum it slices like butter um, so yeah I got five hours maybe six hours two hundred and ninety dollars that's a nice load it's a nice hit I wish I could do that every day but it don't happen all right so like I say I am gonna show you cutting up an old AC unit Took this in yesterday afternoon and had them suck the Freon out, which all I got to do is take the case and expose so they can get to the, the plumbing, which if you see here, a little hole in the top, all they do is they got a little fitting that clamps onto the line and it's got a little thumb screw that pierces it and then they back it off and the line, it sucks into the re reclaimer. The place I go, they don't charge me nothing to do it because they actually reuse the Freon for different things. So, it's all drained. The only thing is, is that that does take 
the Freon out, but it does not always get all the refrigerant oil. So there's still oil in this system. So once I get this all apart, I'm gonna have to turn this compressor upside down and drain the oil out of it. All right, let me get set up here and uh, we'll tear this apart. All right, get the camera strapped on, grab some goodies. All right, this will work. Oh, uh, screws. Little magnetic tray does come in handy. All right, first thing I do is get the casing off. Now on the other side it was the same way. Screws across the bottom, there was two across the back. Just so I could get the casing off, so I could get to the plumbing. I think I need a new screwdriver a bit. All right, whip that casing off. That'll actually go into the tin shred. And this is what we're exposed with. Got the compressor here. All this nice copper plumbing. There's a little bit of insulated wire, but what we really want is this. This is the condenser, and this one is the evaporator. This one gets cold, and the other one gets hot. Now, it's always, it's always a little bit different on these. I'm figuring out exactly what screws have to come out. Of course, these screws are usually rusty. A lot of times, I will use just my good old handheld screwdriver. And just start popping screws out. They're always full of leaves and junk. Sometimes it's a challenge to find all the screws. Looks like they got some hidden, yeah, underneath here. Probably got one hidden under here too. Sure enough. All right. Well, basically, I'm just gonna pop this thing right out. If I can. Alright. Get my screwdriver. Pry that back a little. And there we go. Take my old side cutters. Don't do this with good side cutters. I always keep my old ones once they get wore out. is a reefer core as they call it now there's some more to do to that to clean it up but I'm gonna get this all apart first 
flip it around. Oh, that's nice, comes right off. And basically these are pretty simple. Just look for the screws. Oh. oh there we go. Yep, I need to get a new bit for my screw gun. Because if the screws are tight, that thing will strip the hell out of them. Oh, and these are tight. Right, I think that's just it. Just two. Pull this. Pull the little plastic inserts. Cut the lines here. Try to cut the lines here. Back here to cut all this plumbing off. A little twisty twisty. And voila. And there's the other one. That's the evaporator. All right, now as for the rest of this, basically all I want is the copper plumbing. Lots of zip ties. the garbage away. All right. Got to get all these dang zip ties off of here and this foam stuff. Insulation. Switch bits. Put a quarter inch drive socket driver bit and a socket. And I'm going to get these bolts. Boy, that thing is had it, huh? Dead batteries does not help none. It's all right. Do it the old-fashioned way. And actually, all you gotta do is get them broke loose, and then they'll spin right out. Yeah, hidden back there, are you? Once they get them broke loose, they'll spin right out. 
I got a bad habit of forgetting to put my extra batteries on charge. Zip out the bolts. Bolt the compressor down. Grab the whole thing. Set it right there. Now, for the most part, I am done with the air conditioner. Now, if you want, you can pull that electric fan motor off. Now, I always end up fighting with these squirrel cages and the fan blades on them more than it's actually worth, to me anyway. Somebody else, they might be more than willing to fight with it. But what I will do is try to get in here and cut the wire off. Hey, it's insulated copper wire. Okay, let me move that out of the way. Because now, I'm going to put this back together. couple of these screws that I've taken out. And switch bits yet again. I'm going to put a couple screws in it to hold the casing on. trying to remember to try to keep the camera keep everything in frame for you which I'm trying believe me I am all right and that's that I'm done with this part this all goes as tin shred voila now we have this let's Oh, that come off the compressor and the plumbing. Which basically we clean up the copper. Get the zip ties off. Try to get it squished down a little bit. This counterweighter, I don't know what this thing is, honestly. Oh, I guess actually it's just uh, on there in case the line starts to rattle. So it doesn't rattle against the compressor, I guess. But it's rubber, whatever it is. Garbage. Get all this insulation off. Which some of this is really nasty. It's like a tar. You know, especially when it gets old, it can be very, very nasty. And sticky. And this is just your typical foam insulation. It all goes in the garbage. Cut 
that. No, these cutters don't want to cut very well. Cut the wire off. And there's what's left of uh, the copper lines on it. So I'm going to cut the copper lines off. I'm not going to go nuts. And oh, oh, oil, 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 oil. Like I say, gotta watch it. They'll still have oil in them. This thing is still loaded with oil. Which, let me go get my bucket and turn it over and let it get draining. All right, got it set up there in an old drain bucket. Upside down, we'll let that sit and drain. Throw away some of my garbage here. And now we're going to cut up refrigeration core. Because for it to be clean, this steel piece here has to come off. So it has to be cut off. Which a lot of times, if you look, hopefully this is picking this up. You see the metal ridge here folds out, which is nice because I'm going to cut right in between here. As close to it as I can on the inside. But like on this side, it folds in. And I don't want to cut way over here. So I will take and bend this up the other direction so I can get my blade in as close to it as possible. Do both sides here. If I can get underneath it. Get it started. really good so I can get the blade in there as close as possible see all this this is what happens if you don't clean the filter in your air conditioner. You get all this nasty dust. And because it is, this is the evaporator. This is the one that gets cold. And then water condensates to it, of course, because the humid, humidity in the air. And with all this dust and dirt, it will grow mold. Which we all know that is never good. All right, let me get the other ones ready to cut and then I'll show you how I cut them. All right, got the reefer core in the vise there. Take the saws off. Oh, I need to bend that little tab out. So I want to get as close to this metal plate as possible. I 
All right, take the old saws on. $19 Harbor Freight Special. And I'm going to try to cut as close as possible to that metal bracket. Let's see if I can do this with the camera. Getting behind it. Well, that didn't go so well. I don't think you guys even seen it. So we're gonna try this side. All right, and that's the ideal. As you see, the closer I cut to this plate, these noodles, as some people refer to them, little copper ends, will literally fall right out. And I collect all these. And they go in with my copper. But you see like this one, where I didn't get very close, as you can tell, it just makes it more difficult to pop all these copper noodles out. because they always end up in my tire. All right, but once this is cut, my little vise, that is clean refrigeration core. Okay? All right. Let me cut the rest of these and I'll show you how I pick copper berries. Okay, all done. I'll take apart. Pulled all the noodles off these metal brackets, the copper noodles. So basically this is what I'm left with after scrapping out a window unit air conditioner. Got a nice pile of copper, a little handful of number two insulated wire, uh, the evaporator core. This is a condenser core, which is actually two pieces and the compressor. Everything pays. You know, the core, the copper will go as number two copper at uh, $1.75 a pound to 50 cents a pound for the insulated number two wire. Right now I believe it's paying $1.05 for the clean refrigeration core and the compressor goes as heavy iron at 10 cents a pound. So that's it. Funny thing is, as I was sitting here working, cutting the rest of this cores up, my brother came up and brought me another AC unit. Nice big central air unit. So, I'll be cutting that up probably tomorrow. Because I didn't want to get into all that today. But, alright, that's it. I'm done for the day. Spend the rest of the day goofing off. Alright, until next time.